Hello, sixth grade Bobcats. Mr. Flato here. Welcome back to another wonderful week at Helena Middle School on this week's Bob Lesson. Got one of my favorite videos that came out a couple years ago that I wanted to share. And the title of this Bob Lesson is How Bad Do You Want It? Um, anything that you're going to want in life has value there. If it didn't have value, you wouldn't want it. Anything that has value, other people are going to want as well. And anywhere you go in life, there's a healthy amount of competition out there for anything. So, so much of everything in life comes down to how bad do you really want it? And more importantly, how hard are you going to work to attain it? So, hope you guys like this, this week's Bob Lesson. I uh, hope you guys go out and make it a great week. All right, title of this week's Bob Lesson is How Badly Do You Want to Be Successful? But first, let's be our best this week at HMS. Let's be safe, let's be responsible, let's be respectful, and let's be a learner. All right, to intro this next Bob lesson, I wanted to show you guys this picture of this iceberg. Uh, for many of you, you've seen icebergs, and what's cool about icebergs is you can just see a little bit um, coming out out of the top, and the main metaphor behind an iceberg is there's way more beneath the surface, there's way more that you can't see um, that's below the surface than there is that you can see. And I'm going to go through this for probably the next couple of weeks talking about success and all the things that you can't see that go along with success. And we're going to start today talking about hard work. And I'm going to share one of my um, one of my favorite videos with you. Um, one of my mentors in education used to always say um, for, for kids, for kids like you, if you have a work ethic and you can work hard, there's always a place for you in this world. So let's get moving on to this video. I hope you guys like it. It was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow. 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He already ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me. In. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. He told the guy. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. you got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become.
promise, please stand up. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the streets. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best air Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I got to breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. Wow. I love that video. Every time I watch that, that gives me goosebumps. So. I want to make a couple important points um, about this video because there is a couple things I want to break down and talk about. Um, I love this story. It's about a guy, for those of you that maybe had a hard time following it, that um, saw somebody older that was successful and said, man, I want to be just like you. I want to teach me what to do to be successful just like you. And the guy said, okay, we'll meet me at the beach at 4 a.m. the next day. So the guy shows up at the beach in a suit and he's thinking he's going to follow him around, trail him for the day and, and learn, learn how he's successful. And the guy asks him, you know, walk out there in the water, walk a little further, walk a little further. And he walks out to the point where he's up to, um, the water's up to his chin. And then the guy jumps in after him and, and, and puts him under the water, which we should never do to people, by the way. And the whole point of this was, um, when you're underwater, all the only thing, the most important thing in life is to breathe, is to get some oxygen. And he said, you know, when you want to breathe, when you want to be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, that's, that's what it takes. And what he's referring to is hard work. Um, and I want to make a couple points because success doesn't necessarily mean making money. In this video, the money was referenced, but um, there are many definitions of success. And I want to put that out there. Making money in life is not the most important thing. As middle school students, it is is important to get eight to 11 hours of sleep. He referenced in there, um, I think in one version with Beyonce or 50 Cent, they were talking about how you might have to go and get only a couple hours of sleep. Um, for middle school students, that is not healthy. Also, he talked about um, being so busy and working so hard that you don't have time to eat. It is important for middle school students to eat three square meals, if not four or five every single day. So what things are more important to you than be successful? He talked about um, being cool or doing different things or being accepted and how some people put other things um, in the place or they have other things that are priorities over being successful. And, and what he's saying in the video is if you want to be successful at something, you got to make that number one. Sacrifice what you are for what you want to become. Are you willing to do it and are you willing to pay the price? Um, and there's a quote that ended it was, commit your very being to being successful. Work hard and you can have whatever it is that you want in life. And what this video was about to me is dedicating yourself to something. Um, working hard, there's no substitute in life for working hard. Um, somebody that was a mentor to me um, in education my first few years used to always say, if you give me somebody that will work their butt off, that'll work hard, there is a place out in society for them. And I'm a huge believer in hard work and dedicating yourself to whatever it is that you want to do. All right, our quote of the week comes from that video. And our quote of the week is, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I love that quote. Um, guys, every single person in this school, every single one of you, every last one of you, you guys can go out and do whatever it is you want to do in life. I firmly believe that. At the end of the day, it comes down to how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to be successful? How hard are you willing to work to accomplish your goals and to accomplish your dreams? When you want to accomplish them as bad as you want to breathe when you're underwater and struggling for breath, that is the ticket right there. Last but not least, the results are in for the March Madness reading challenge and congratulations to miss mooney's advisor who were the champions this year you guys will get to pick your prize congratulations to miss mcmahon's advisor who will get root beer floats and then congratulations to the consolation the top three combination of kepler erickson Semensky, vetabadi mr hunthausen and congratulations to everybody 
that participated in pushing their reading. Reading is such a critical skill um, for school overall. Shout out to our English teachers, Ms. Vedavati, Ms. Hunthausen, and our reading teachers, Ms. Hatton and Ms. Kaufman. Congratulations to everybody that participated. All right, that brings us to this week's Jelly Bean Question of the Week winners, who are Keenan Wells, Alyssa Klein, Navea and Nayitha, Briar Ford, and Hannah Matosh. The answer was 87, and the trick with that one was you had to turn it upside down. All right, this week's Jelly Bean Question of the Week is, what letter in the alphabet contains the most amount of water? If you think you know, submit your answer to the Bob Box no later than Friday, and tune in next week to see if you're a winner. All right, Bobcats, let's go out and make it a great week at the Helena Middle School.